Okay, so in this example video, I'm going to show you how to use ArcGIS Pro uh, to get um, uh, tabular data in into ArcGIS. So <clears throat> you might have a table of, uh, of points, for example, in a, in a Esri, or excuse me, in an Excel table, and you need to get those locations. Like for example, there may be GPS points, and I'll, I'll pull up an example here. Uh, to show you real quick. Um, let me get to the right folder here. Uh, so for example, I, I have this Excel file called Reef Sites. Okay, uh, These points, uh, just so you know, they are points that were taken along the coast of Belize uh, a few years ago when I was down there helping some uh, some colleagues with a research uh, assignment. Um, but anyway, if I open this Excel file up, pretty simple Excel file, but uh, we definitely have some, some coordinates that can go into a GIS here. We've got latitude, uh, we've got longitude, and then we've just got an explanation about each of these points. And in this case, this is just the name of, of each of these points down there in Belize. Um, but instead of having this in an Excel file, it would be really nice to see these points on a map and, and get it into the GIS. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to do that. So I'm going to close this Excel file. Excuse me, and I'm going to remember where this Excel file is. So it's in Documents Classes, GIOG 1110, Week 2, and it's called Reef Sites 1. Okay, I'm going to close this. And I'm going to open up ArcGIS Pro. I'm going to make sure that I'm signed into my account, uh, and I am. Uh, remember, we learned how to do this uh, in, in week one. And I'm just going to open up a blank, a blank project. <laughs> Tell it where to save this. I'll just save this on my desktop. And I'm just going to call it a uh, table example. Okay, I need to select the folder where I want it. I'm going to name it here again. Table example. So it's creating the project. Remember, when you create a blank project, at least for me, my catalog opens up. I'm going to close this catalog pane, and I just have a blank, boring map. I'm going to fix that real quick. I'm going to go up to here to insert. I'm going to insert a new map. <laughs> When you insert a new map, um, it automatically adds in a topo map. I believe it's you have a topo map of the entire world, which is which is okay. I would like something a little more exciting. I'm going to go up here to base maps, and I'm going to add in uh, imagery with labels. It's a little more exciting, okay? Um, yeah, okay. So I've opened up our GIS Pro. Um, I've added in my, my base map, which in this case is the imagery with labels. Now I'm going to add in that Reef Sites Excel table that I showed you earlier. Okay, so I'm going to hit the Add Data button. <clears throat> I'm going to go to that folder where, where it was, which in, in my case was Documents, Classes, uh, GIOG 1110, and this is in Week 2. And here's that Reef Sites Excel table. So this is what an Excel table looks like when you add it in um, uh, to ArcGIS Pro. So I'm just going to highlight it and click Open. And so when you do that, it, it takes you into one level deeper into the Excel table. So this is, remember in Excel they have tabs down at the bottom, and this is the name of the tab. It's called Reef Sites. And and I don't know why they do this, but they always put a dollar sign next to the name. 
not sure why that is, but you'll you'll find whenever you load in Excel into ArcGIS Pro, you'll see a dollar sign in the name of the tab. So I'm just going to highlight that and click OK. And it doesn't look like much of anything happened, but you will notice over here, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> in the contents window, I have my reef sites table. And I can right click on this guy and open it. And it should have the same info. And yep, if I drag my attribute table up here, it, it has the same info in as when I opened up the Excel table uh, just a few minutes ago. Okay. Again, what we're trying to do is we need to get all of these points into ArcGIS Pro. We, it's nice to have them in a table, that's great, but we want to be able to work with it in the GIS. So, and, and the two really important parts of this is the latitude and the longitude. You always need some sort of geographic location to be able to get any kind of data from a table into a GIS. And in this case, we have lat long. Um, and so remember with latitude and longitude, you, well, let me get into the tool and we'll explain it a little bit. So I'm going to close the attribute table here. So the first step in getting data from an Excel into the GIS is we need to right click on the table and we're going to go to display XY data. And over here on the right, the tools opening up. Okay, so input table reef sites dollar sign yep that's correct output feature class so it's going to actually create points out of those x and y latitude longitude points that we have we need to tell it where to save this okay so hit, make sure you hit your browse folder and tell it where to save this new piece of data you can save it anywhere you want for this since it's just an example i'm just going to save it in my on my desktop and i'm just going to name it <coughs> So I'm going to save it on my desktop, and I'm just going to name it, uh, I'll call it Belize Reef Sites. And, and just so you know, these are, these are points where we uh, I helped some colleagues of mine monitor the fish that were around these sites. Okay, there are sites on the coral reefs near Belize, and we were monitoring, monitoring what kind of fish we saw there. So I'm going to call this Belize Reef Sites, click Save, okay. X and Y, remember longitude is the X field, longitude is on the X axis, latitude is on the Y axis, okay. And then probably the most important step here is, is you need to um, specify the correct projection that these points were taken in. Now when I GPS these locations, I, in fact, did use Geographic Coordinate System, WGS84. Um, but let's say um, I used NAD83, okay? If that was the case, I would need to go and change this. So I need to hit the little Select Coordinate System button here. I need to go up to Geographic Coordinate System, North America, USA and Territories, and I would choose NAD83. Okay, that's not what I took it in on my GPS unit, but if I did, that's what I would choose. Let's say instead of lat, uh, latitude and longitude, uh, we had UTM points. And if that's the case, if you remember back to um, uh, intro to GIS, UTM is a projected coordinate system. So we would need, if, if our points were in UTM, we need to go to projected, UTM, and AD83, and then choose the correct zone that we were in. Not sure what zone Belize is in, but uh, we would need to know the, the correct one. Um, again, I when I GPS these points, I use GCS WGS84, which is located geographic, WGS84 is a world projection, and then I find WGS84 in the list here. If someone sends you a table of, of GPS data in Excel, you need to ask them what projection or what projection this data was collected in, and then you need to make sure you choose that in, in the tool here. Uh, the biggest thing with 
adding data from an Excel table is you need to know what projection the data was collected in. Okay. Okay, we've named the output file. Longitude is X, latitude is Y. We've got the correct projection. Let's go ahead and run this tool. close the tool and yep here we are here's my points uh, right, it looks like right where I took them out on the boat um, we can change the symbol here I'm going to click on this pink dot pick something that's a little more appropriate maybe maybe this fish symbol here click on it maybe go up to properties we don't need it to be 18 uh, size 18 we can that down to 12 maybe click apply and there's my points okay I can get rid of that Excel table if I don't want it here anymore right click move it uh, but here's here are my uh, here are my points and if I click on a point you can see that information latitude longitude and then the name of the point the, the name of the site where we G we open up the attribute table here's the attribute table now we can start to um, load in data like maybe we want to uh, make a field here that says type of fish and we can list the type of fish that we see at each of these sites uh, we can list you know we can put a column in here called uh, you know, I don't know, a researcher, and we can list the, the people that visit these sites and, and see what kind of fish are out there. All kinds of things we can do with this data now that it's in a GIS, okay? Um, <clears throat> always good to get, whenever you have location data in an Excel table, again, it's great. You can work with data in Excel, and that's fine, but if you have location information with it, look at how... Uh, Think about putting it into a GIS and, and it just opens up a lot of possibilities. You can look at things on a map as well as put other information in about the site uh, in the attribute table. Okay, if you have, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Again, this is just a short example of how to get tabular data into ArcGIS Pro.